As Melbourne players prepare for next Saturday's grand final, there's a small army working behind the scenes to make sure the Demons break their long-standing premiership drought. Among them, their head trainer, who has taken on a new role of firing them up. Clint Stanaway explains. Almost every footy club's got one. Oh, come on, mate. That's cool. Good. There you go. An unassuming heart and soul character who, just like the players, rides every bump. It's been a long time coming and we've seen a lot of bad times. Now it's time for good times, time to get going and yeah, hopefully have a win. As the club's head trainer, John Stanaway has been at Melbourne for 23 years and one of very few staff members to have received life membership. He also happens to be my dad. If you don't support Melbourne in our house, you don't live there. John was 11 when the Dees won their last premiership in 1964. Since then, it's been a lean run. And when you're right in the middle of it, after a crushing loss, there's no escaping the pain. And when you don't have success, it's tough. It's really tough. The people that have been supporting the club for a long time, they, uh, they take it a bit harder than you know, what the players do. John will tell you he doesn't play favourites, but he's lying. He loved Brad Green and Bernie Vince. So too Nathan Jones and more recently Big Max Gorn, who had a hand in giving John a new role. Suddenly, he's become the warm-up guy in Perth. That first rev-up so successful, they demanded more. But behind the broad smile is a bloke who, like so many Melbourne supporters, has a stomach full of butterflies as that big day looms. Had a tear the other night when we won. Um, tear when a few of the boys uh, come into the room. So, yeah, I'll be, I'll be emotional. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. It's just a long time. I'm sure grand final day won't be any different. It'll be just that sick feeling in your stomach that just trying to go through your head what might happen. This really is a team effort. It's good, it's great. It's nice to be involved. You know, I'm here representing the people that didn't get a gig. Hopefully, uh, you know, have some success and bring it back to Melbourne and it'll be nice, be very nice. Clint Stanaway, Nine News.